today i want to talk about something really interesting and uh, i wanted to make this video because i am uh, thrilled about this particular service called search.sh so the main idea behind search.sh is to deploy your static sites within few seconds and when i say few seconds it is uh, actually true so i want to show you today how we can uh, how we can use this service so the first thing that you need to do just go to the website called uh, search.sh and uh, when you scroll further you have the instructions to install search on your local machine so you need to install search by using uh, npm so if you simply copy this particular command and uh, paste it on your console or terminal you can install surge within a few minutes and after the installation you need to of course create your account so the creation of account will also happen using their uh, terminal or using the, your, your console you don't need to go to, to to this particular website again so after you create your account all you need to do you need to simply use their service to deploy a static website and that static website could be built uh, in uh, jekyll or maybe hugo and it could be simply nothing but uh, simple plain html files so today i want to show you how we can do it by giving you a very simple example so let me go back to my my terminal and uh, if i want to create a new site using plain html files i'll first create one directory so I'll probably name this directory as search underscore testing and uh, I'll go inside this directory. So once you're inside your directory, you can now create maybe a few HTML files. So for this particular example, I'll simply create uh, index.html and uh, this is of course empty HTML file, but I will probably uh, create this particular uh, file with some content I'll, I'll basically add some content to this particular file so let me add some content like uh, hello hello world and uh, once you uh, add this particular content to your uh, index.html file you can of course treat it as a website of course it is nothing but a simple html uh, page but it could be your actual website built using hugo or jekyll or maybe any other static site generator so now we have this uh, this folder with uh, one file called index.html so let us know, let us say we want to now deploy it so to deploy this particular uh, site you all you need to do you need to simply type in uh, uh, on your terminal this command called search and when, when you press enter it will actually ask you to specify or confirm the directory where you have your uh, your website that you want to deploy so the directory right now is search underscore testing and if i press enter it will give me a domain name so it is of course a temporary domain name or you can say it is like a, a domain name generated for me on search.sh so it is basically a subdomain so for this particular example i will be using this particular domain which is being suggested by search but i will also show you later on uh, in this video how we can use our own custom domain so if i let search uh, uh, use this particular domain and if i continue further you can see that within few seconds now my website is uh, published to this url called uh, sticky hyphen mind dot search dot sh let me open this uh, url and uh, and let me see how this particular site looks like and in this particular uh, uh, in this particular website or in this particular uh, site i don't really have anything i just have one one simple index.html file and you can see here that my index.html is now actually working and within a few seconds i have now deployed my site so let us now do few more things let us now further modify this particular file and uh, i'll probably open this particular file in uh, emacs and uh, i may want to add some more content so i'll probably make some changes i'll add some html tags because we are working on a website so it should look like a website or it should have some html formatting so let me add some uh, some content this is my great site built using html and deployed using search 
and uh, once I create uh, or modify my HTML I can now go back to my terminal and then if I type in my command search again what it will do it will basically deploy any changes back to the uh, to the hosting or back to the domain or subdomain that was uh, that was provided by search but this time when you do it again it will now create uh, or it will now suggest a new domain for for you so you can actually specify the old domain that you used earlier so you can actually uh, change the domain name to sticky hyphen mine dot search dot sh and let us see if uh, we are able to deploy so it seems like we have deployed new changes back to the same old subdomain if i go back to my uh, to my same uh, site and if i do a refresh so now you can see that uh, my changes are actually updated and right now we are actually working on a site which is uh, actually live although it's a subdomain but uh, it is actually a site which is on the internet so in my opinion if you have any any domain name that you're not really using so you can probably just create simple html file or maybe you can just use any static site generators like hugo and just use search.sh service to deploy it on uh, on on their service so let me just do few more things so when i deploy the changes again i need to specify the domain name so uh, of course it is fine i can specify the domain name again but uh, there is one more way to do it or rather i should say there are two more ways to do it so let me first uh, first change the file again so that we have something to see so i'll probably add uh, more content uh, to my same html file so let us say I want to add content like uh, I am using search.sh to show how easily we can deploy the changes and this time I will not use the command search directly but I will use this uh, this option here to specify the domain which I want to deploy to or or to, to or you know the domain name that domain name that I was using earlier so I can use here the domain name while I'm typing my command search and then uh, hyphen hyphen domain and then I can specify my domain name which is uh, sticky hyphen mine dot search dot sh and uh, let us see what happens now I'm sure it will ask you to uh, verify the directory which is fine and then the domain name is automatically picked up from the from the command that you typed in earlier so let us now go back to the uh, uh, to the website or our web page and now you can see that we have new changes updated uh, very easily and very quickly so there is one more thing that i want to show you which is uh, instead of uh, specifying the domain name by using this hyphen hyphen domain what you can also do you can uh, you can create one file called cname and in this particular file what you can do you can actually uh, store your domain name so that uh, you don't even need to provide domain name at all you can simply type in search so what i will do now i will uh, i will have my domain name which is uh, sticky hyphen mine dot search dot sh and uh, i will uh, basically add this particular uh, line my domain name or rather my subdomain add it to my cname file so what will happen now I don't really need to specify domain name at all. So let me do one more change uh, to my uh, to my website. I'll add maybe one more line. This is the demonstration of CNAME file. So let us see what happens now. I will now again uh, type in my command which is search and this time I will not provide any domain name and uh, let us see if uh, we are able to deploy to the same domain so yes you can see here that uh, the domain name is actually picked up automatically using the cname file and if i do a refresh now we should have uh, this new line added to the same web page that we uh, created earlier and there's one more thing which i want to show you which is the use of your own custom domain so let us say you have your own domain which is something that you're not using at all so what you can do you can actually 
update or use the same CNAME file, which is uh, uh, something that we have just uh, created and uh, use your own domain name. Now, of course, you need to use your domain DNS settings. You need to first make sure that your domain is actually pointing to search.sh servers. And I'll show you the instructions where you can do that. But I have already one uh, domain or subdomain which I, I, I have already directed uh, to search.sh service. So I have this subdomain called search.ravi.pro and what I will do now, I will uh, again do some changes to my to my to my index.html file, and this time I will uh, probably add some break here so that we can see that we have added new lines. I'll, uh, I'll add one more line break, and then I will add this line called uh, "This is now published to my actual custom." domain so let us see what happens now if i now type in the command search what will happen now it should ideally publish those changes to this domain called search.ravi.pro which is actually my own domain it could be a domain or it could be a subdomain like uh, in this particular case and if i open this particular domain called ravi or rather search.ravi.pro i should be able to see my new site which i just uh, published using my console so to use your custom domain what you need to do you need to of course uh, go to the documentation of uh, search.sh let me show you where you can find it so if you go to the help section on the on the top you can see here that you have the instructions to uh, of course go through it, go through the documentation which uh, is quite simple but uh, you can you can read this documentation that says add custom domain free so if you have a custom domain, if you have your own domain, you can actually modify the C name or you can also add a, a record in your domain registrar uh, configurations. You need to, of course, uh, log into your uh, domain registrar. Maybe you're using GoDaddy or maybe you're using some specific uh, domain registration service. Uh, and I'm sure you know how to change your uh, a, a record or how, how to change your C name. So you need to make sure that your your C name is uh, pointing to this particular uh, host name, which is uh, uh, provided by search.sh, or you can create one A record with the IP address, which is pointing to this particular IP address. So once you do that, you will be able to use your own uh, custom domain by using that domain name in your C name file within your uh, folder. But if I have to do a comparison of a search with NetLeafy, I prefer I prefer NetLeafy because using NetLeafy, you are also able to use your own domain along with a certificate, which is great. You also have the option to use certificate with search if you want to use HTTPS in your domain name, but you need to, of course, pay for it. But if you're using, let us say, the search free service, they will, of course, give you the they will of course give you the the, the the certificate but it will only be with the, their own domain or subdomain that will be provided to you like uh, the one that we had earlier sticky hyphen mind dot search dot sh but i am still uh, not 100 percent sure whether i will be able to use uh, my own my own custom certificate with my own domain i think i need to pay for it but i'll probably uh, figure it out but it seems like uh, you can easily use search.sh and i really prefer it because uh, the way you can simply create a file on uh, your own local computer and uh, with the help of cname you can also change uh, the domain where you want to point or where you want to deploy your uh, your your website but uh, in my opinion, this is really great way to use their service and to to make sure that you have at least some site setup for your unused domains. So I hope uh, in this video you learned uh, something re something really cool because uh, I was actually not aware of this particular service called search.sh and uh, the way you can easily deploy your static site on the internet. So I hope you like this video. Thank you very much.